today on the worst mechanic ever. All right, guys. Um, I'm gonna replace this uh sway bar link on this uh 04 Maxima. Um, you know, already got the car prepped up. Got some stands locked up. You know. It, uh, like I said in the past, like you know, like never use a jack to, to like hold your car up. So I do have uh, stands. That I guess I got like a a backup just in case. So I have I have a tire, one jack, which is you know it's kind of like something like locked up. I have that jack uh, holding up the weight, and then I have uh, the four jack, you know. And then I, I do have chucks at the back of the tire, so like safety is real important. So you know what we're taking out is the front driver side of sway bar link. I already got the other side done, and it's this guy here. You know to check if these guys are good or not. You just like wiggle them. You know if they wiggle, they're bad. Um, so let's get that guy out of there. I just I got some notes just to you know to get this thing out. Uh, let's see. I'll be honest, it's not that hard. The back one is actually the tougher one. You guys have to remember, you know, when we're moving out sway bar lengths, that as you're spinning the outside nut, this guy, the inside is gonna be rotating. So uh, you need a 19 uh, wrench at the back to hold that in place. So uh, some of these guys have uh, Allen key slots at the front. This one doesn't. Um, I actually prefer. You know uh, the wrench at the back. Um, this this nut up here is a 17 inch, so you're gonna need a 17 inch, um, a socket and some extensions. So here's what I'm using. Uh, you know, 17, uh, 19 inch, uh, 19 millimeter wrench, 17, a torque wrench for later on for torquing down to, I think it's 60, it's like 75 or something like that. I'm, I'm torquing to 65 today, um, 65, 70. Uh, Crowbar, you know, uh, is a, a hex type um, 17. Put it up here. Uh, so, I guess all you need is a 17 socket. 19 is actually for the tires. Uh, you want to have a hammer or a mallet, or whatever. A breaker bar always helps. Uh, makes your job a lot easier. And um, WD-40 always helps as well. So that's pretty much it. All right. Or something else. If you have like a wrench sitting um you know, socket wrench, which I do not. It's gonna make your life a lot easier for that back one. Because the back one is real tough to get to. The back one's real tough to get to. I have, you know, this guy here, you know, he, I mean, he worked on the side, but if you have like, like one of those, uh, I guess they call them like the ratcheting type, or I don't know, like, the, you know, where the head flexes, it makes your life a lot easier. So, if you don't have one, and you know, you're thinking of picking one up, I'll pick one up, it's a pretty good time to do that. So I'm using this to kind of like flex down there, and I did get it off on the, on the other side. Let's see what happens on this side. All right, so I started off by taking the top one off. Went here again, you know, 17 to the front, a 19 inch uh, wrench to the back. The back one's gonna be tougher. Um, I like taking the top one off first because uh, it allows you to jack up the bottom a little, a little bit. Um, you know, and, and it kind of helps because that's really like a tight spot back there. So, all right. Alright guys, so uh, this is where I'm at right now. This, you know, the side has been uh, pretty tough. Um, but I'm getting there. So, again, the top one was already broken free. Pretty It was actually real simple. Um, I'm about to miss some light. I just can't. The bottom one is tough. Um, you know, I have a socket, right? So this is the, this is the part. This is the inside. There's, there's, here's the bolt. I have a socket right here. I have a whole bunch of WDB-40. WD-40 right here. Um, I have that, you know, wrench any type uh extension right there and then I have an, an extension I think he's about uh just for reference uh I don't know like seven or eight inches eight inch uh, extension and then I have the wrench down here um so I, you know I already have this guy broken he was pretty tough to break what I did is that uh you know we're on the on the left side the driver's side you know he ratchets that way to break it free um again counterclockwise uh so you know I had a uh, an extension on this guy facing that direction and I was just you know working it here until it broke you know broke it spray some more WD-40 on it keep on breaking it and now I'm just back to this extension um you know I'm sticking uh my wrench here 19 inch 19 millimeter and the socket so I'm playing around with that break, uh, you know getting that off all right there we go got the piece out again you know it's um you know uh 
it could be tedious. I don't know if there's a different way to get the bottom one out. You know, so it could be a tedious thing to do. Um, so if you have a little bit of experience like doing these kinds of, kinds of things, I suggest it. If not, you might want to pay a mechanic. Um, it is doable, but it's tedious. Um, so if you have any questions, you could, you know, just write. Installation is going to be pretty simple. I'll, you know, take a few shots of that as well. So this is a real important one. Um, this new part that I got doesn't have any uh, markings on it as far as direction. So um, the original piece did. So here's the way it works. Um, the top has I call it like a loop, I guess a loop or a bend that goes away. If you can see that, you know. So let's call this the front. Up there will be the back. It goes away. The bottom is the opposite. You know. So that's the way that goes. If you flip it around, you'll see that the front, in this case, the front will be actually looping forward, you know. So again, the top, you know, bows back. All right. All right. Another one is, you know, how do you get this thing in there? Um, if you remember, you know, the bottom screw goes, um, you know, goes away. So it goes in that direction. The top one goes under your brake line and it pops in through here. Let me, let me try to get this done with one hand. Something I did, uh, I added some uh, anti seize. Let me see if I get some flashlight on this. Alright, the sun's up, I already can see, so I got some anti seize on this. It's something that I typically do, you know, at these locations, you can actually, you could, I like to have it because I'm the, I'm the guy that does my, I do my own service, so I'm not sure next time I have to get it off. I can get it off easily. If you torque it right, you know, this thing ain't coming off. Um, if you're worried, you could put some of that, uh, I forgot the, what the you call it, uh, thread lock. Put thread lock on it and no anti seize and you know thread lock and those what it says it locks it in place all right so again i'm gonna try to get this in with one hand i really can't see with the sun i don't know if you can see it on camera i can see you can all right so bottom one goes in there right, this is the top one first I'm doing this with one hand all right the top one is in all right and the bottom one i had to buy my mistake um so you know what I'm saying is that the bottom one is not lining up, so I can use the crowbar and bring that down. Or this piece does move. I'll probably grab the mallet, I'll tap it, just bring it up and slide it in there real smoothly. And then we're gonna, you know, so assemble assemble this thing. And remember, um, we're torquing it to uh, I'm torquing it to 65 pounds. You can go anywhere from 65, from 60 to 75, 78 pounds. All right, all right. So you know, I'm just getting nuts in here. You know, getting them ready to, to, to assemble this thing again. If you have power tools, you know. Again, I don't have any power, any, um, you know, like an impact wrench or anything like that. They could be helpful. For the bottom one, if you have some kind of extension where you can get down here, that would be helpful. I don't have any of that stuff. Um, so it's, it's going to be just twerking it, you know, and again, that's it. You know, we're pretty much finished at this point. It's just, well, you know, the video is pretty much finished. I'm just going to twerk these guys down to 65. That should be it. The bottom one, I'm going to twerk it the same way I got it in. You know, it's, it's tough. And um, the reason I say it's, it's tedious, um, you know, you're in a tight angle. When you're re uh, retching this thing, you're pretty much touching everything. And, um, you know, the socket comes off the nut a lot. So that's why that's why it's tedious. You know, thing comes off, then you got to go ahead and, you know, reset it. And it takes a while to reset because, <laughs> again, you're in an angle. So you have to, you know, uh, use your crowbar to kind of like lift up your sway bar up a little bit, you know, get that socket in. Then from, in my case, I was putting that, that ratcheting extension on it, then the extension, then the socket, then, you know, uh, probably spending a minute on it and the thing coming off again. So, you know, it's, it's, it is tedious. Um, there might be different ways to do it. This is the way I did it. This is the way um, I understand it's done. So that's it. I guess, you know, uh, if you can use a, a wrench to get this thing off, and some people can, um, probably you have like a good quality wrench that won't strip the nut. You could probably do it, and probably I was able to do it with a wrench. But you know, I'm I'm afraid of stripping nuts, so I just didn't do it. Um, I, I got pretty good sockets, so I know those those ain't gonna strip these bolts. Lesson on torque, you know, I'm, I'm gonna try to put this phone on my neck and kind of show you how to do this. This is my torque wrench. Um, you can get one of these Harbor Freight, Walmart, Kmart, I guess, wherever. So let's see. I'm gonna get this done. So. So pretty much, you know, this is to loosen your adjuster up. Here's your, your lock, your lock washer. 
for a locked nut. So, yeah. Voila. Again, you know, torch is 65 pounds. You know, 65 a little bit more. But when it clicks, actually just go a little bit further. You know, probably two, three pounds, whatever. I don't care, I'm a rebel. <laughs> That's pretty much it, you know. Um, at some point, I am going to be changing my, my struts myself. Again, never done this before, so it's going to be a fun one. So I mean, that's pretty much it, you know. If you guys have suggestions, please comment, because, uh, you know, I like I like doing mechanic, uh, mechanics. So I have fun doing this stuff. So, you know, I'll probably be doing this again a year, in a year or two, three, who knows. Probably on a different car. Well, but I will be doing it on my wife's car. So any comments will be suggested. Will be uh, appreciated. Not suggested. Thanks for watching.